before the, the new world order, Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. So, uh, a bunch of people were taking place in the global climate strike today. You know, talk, you're talking about probably even millions of people around the world will be, uh, uh, will have taken strikes or marches or protests today and trying to bring awareness to the need for uh, governments and people to do things about this climate change situation that we're in and to protect the environment. Now, uh, you, it was estimated like 300,000 people actually have uh, marched or took part in some type of protest in Australia and that's where, that's kind of where it kicked off uh, as far as today. But um, even in Thailand, there was like uh, uh, hundreds of people at this die-in protest at the environmental ministry. But um, 16 year old Greta Thunberg, who's this uh, Swedish person who's been like starting uh, marches and protests every Friday by leaving school for the past year or so, um, is actually the catalyst for this. And uh, she's actually in New York City and um, they, you know, getting it jumped off there. So uh, Green Wall and Graduate. Before the other New World Order, Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. I told y'all about how the global climate strike is actually taking place today. Uh, you're talking about hundreds of thousands, possibly even millions of people all over the world that will be uh, leaving work or leaving school to actually protest uh, and bring awareness to the need to have climate change action uh, to reverse some of the carbon that and greenhouse gases that are being emitted by people and by businesses. So uh, hope in hopes of putting pressure on government to uh, do something about this. Now, you even have, um, now this is the whole thing with students doing this, but um, you even have some workers that are pledging to do so, specifically in the US and uh, Amazon and Microsoft offices, uh, workers are pledging to uh, take part in these uh, global climate strikes. Um, Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, actually said that um, amidst pressure from his own uh, people, whatever, uh, said that he vowed to make Amazon carbon neutral by 2040 and is going to purchase 100,000 electric delivery vans. Now that's a step in the right direction. I think the time, it, the time frame is too long, so some people don't think we're gonna make it to 2030. But also, it takes uh, carbon emissions to actually generate electricity. You're better off going with solar if you wanna be called a neutral for real for a green wall graduate. What other new world though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. Sign my petition, y'all. Get Donald Trump off Twitter. Find the change all link in the Instagram bio, Grady Grant 716. Damn, I keep forgetting. They shut down my account because they hating on me getting this information to y'all. So I gotta handle that. Don't worry, we'll be back on the grand soon. But in the meantime, check the change.org link in the video description since you'll probably be watching this on YouTube. Now, uh, I told y'all about tropical depression in Melda. It's, uh, it's actually hit Texas and um, ended up killing two people after dumping 40 inches of rain on the state. Um, were described as one of the worst flood waters in United States history. Um, it even forced uh, Exxon to shut down their this massive oil refinery that they have in Beaumont. Now, 40 inches of rain in some areas. They, this was act, this actually caused more flooding than uh, Hurricane Harvey did a couple of years ago. That actually had some places hit hit with 52 inches of rain. Um, so it's uh, we're talking about thousand. A, a thousand people that had to actually be rescued so it's a uh, real over there keep those people in your thoughts and prayers and check on your family members if you got any over there green wall and graduate the new world door the bishop grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this bfm report the red cross put out a statement basically saying that an average of two million people uh in the world per week need humanitarian aid due to uh you know storms floods and uh, you know, destruction due to uh, climate change. So those, these are the times we are in, and it's expected to double in uh, the next decade if carbon emissions aren't cut. You know, greenhouse gas emissions aren't cut. So everybody st keep that in mind, stay woke. We need to go to the solar energy show, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to all the engineers that may be even going in that direction. Let's get it, y'all. Green Warren graduate. Before the other New World Order, Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. So there was this Georgetown University study that was put out that basically says since 1970, the United States and Canada have lost 3 billion birds. I repeat, 3 billion birds. So this is actually equivalent to a 29% population drop in birds. Now, Peter Marver, who's one of the co-authors of this paper, was basically talking about how birds are actually the ecosystem indicators. So, you know, when they're dying off, that means there's something wrong with the environment. I mean, they, 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 they let you know, you know, they're flying up in the air. They know what's healthy and what's not. So um, that die off is, is, is a clear sign that something is 
definitely wrong with the environment. Everybody stay woke, man. God's a good. Green wall and graduate. Before the other New World Order, Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. Now, I told y'all about how these parliamentary elections were going on in Israel uh, between uh, Benjamin Netanyahu and Benny Gantz. Um, Benjamin Netanyahu from the Likud party and uh, Benny Gantz from the uh, Blue and White party. Now, they're both seen as somebody that's going to bring a lot of harm to the Palestinians, but um, uh, it was, and it was understood that Netanyahu wanted to actually form a unity government since at the time, as I reported earlier this week, the uh, votes were like pretty close. It looked like they were just, you know, they were at a, um, they, 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 they were going to have to have a runoff. But now with 99% of the votes counted, uh, Benny Gantz actually got two more seats, seats in parliament than is Benjamin Netanyahu. That means that he will he has won the election and will be the prime minister. And he rejected the unity government with uh, forming a unity government with uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, as I reported the other day. He's actually about to make a broad, a broad liberal unity government. So you know it's, it might be a new era in Israel, but the same racism might be in place. We're going graduation. Before the other new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. So. With uh, Justin Trudeau, actually, uh, the Canadian Prime Minister, I told y'all the other day on how there were actual photos that were, came out that showed him in what they call quote unquote brown face, where he was uh, dressed up at the time, he was supposed to be dressed up as Aladdin. Well, apparently there's another photo that showed up and a video that was actually uh, posted that I saw, that I caught on Worldstar, showing him, you know, dancing around in blackface. Now, this is, um, and you know, he apologized for, for this again, basically saying the reality is he just didn't understand how, you know, hurtful it was back then. And, um, you know, he understands the problem with it. Now, to me, I see a stark comparison, a stark difference between how he handled the situation and how the governor of Virginia handled it. I actually believe him. And this shit came out as he was, uh, just started campaigning for re-election. So, you know, I think his heart is in the right place. I mean, to me, he's, he's saying what's he's saying what's real about it. You know what I mean? And I don't know. I think the Democrats up there, or the left wing, might be trying to just take his ass out. Man. We'll see what happens though. Green Wall and graduate. Before the other news, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck I'm going on for this BFF report. I had to change the scenery a little bit. It was getting dark outside. But, you know, it's really all about what I'm saying. Not necessarily what the scenery is like, but, you know, I know people feel like better scenery. So, I don't know. Y'all got to listen, though, because, you know what I'm telling y'all, it's important. Howdy Modi is actually a rally that's going on in Houston, Texas. I presumably to honor uh, Narendra Modi, who's actually the Indian Prime Minister. Now, this is happening in some days but what has happened prior to this is two Kashmiri citizens have actually filed a lawsuit against Narendra Modi in the United States for basically executing these extrajudicial killings in Kashmir. Kashmir is uh, well, in the occupied Kashmir, it's, uh, you know, Kashmir it actually has a lot of Muslims or whatever. But there's an Indian administered Kashmir that they actually put the clamps on recently. So, you know, that's what's going down. Green War on graduation. Report of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. Now, over in India, uh, there's actually been a citizenship clamp down, as you could say. Uh, I guess somewhat similar to uh, the United States, as far as like their attitude towards. Who's a, US, who's a citizen of this nation and who isn't. Um, you know, I told y'all recently about how they started a, a registry and they were getting serious about that. Now, weeks ago, two million residents of Assam, India, were actually stripped of their citizenship. Now, this is worrisome because just, um, you know, what I'm reporting, really, the headline of this post is that there have been 10 mass detention centers that have been built in northeast and Assam. So what do you think that's gonna uh, get filled up with? You know what I mean? Green war on graduation, y'all stay with What other new world though the bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BF report. Make sure y'all sign my petition get Donald Trump off Twitter. Find the change.org link in the video description if you're watching this on YouTube or go to change.org and you'll find get Donald Trump off Twitter. Uh, in an essay laying out exactly why you should be removed from the platform, including violating Twitter stop policies, putting us in danger, people abroad, U.S. troops in danger, it's got to stop. Now, I told y'all recently about how there was a whistleblower complaint that has been hitting 
is basically hidden by the acting director of national intelligence, Joseph McGuire. Now, it turns out the Washington Post is reporting that this whistleblower complaint centered around a July 25th uh, phone conversation that Trump had with the Ukrainian president. We didn't know who he was with before. We knew just it was a world leader. And um, there was a promise that was made that was so stubborn that made an uh, uh, unnamed intelligence official actually uh, do the whistleblower. Um, but this is, goes as the House Intelligence Committee, even though they subpoenaed Joseph McGuire to actually hand over this, he still hasn't handed over this uh, whistleblower complaint, the details of it. But um, they are also investigating whether Trump had got Ukraine to actually reopen a case against the Ukrainian company that has been t- had ties to uh, Joe Biden's son, Hunter. Now, on uh, Rudy Giuliani, Trump's personal lawyer, actually went on CNN and, and said that he urged uh, Ukrainian officials to actually reopen and look into uh, that company uh, for, uh, that was related to Joe Biden's son. So, uh, some funny shit going on. Well, I'm, uh, we'll see what that promise is. It's going to come out soon. It's got to. Uh, we ain't going to graduate. Report of the new world of the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. Yo, sign my petition, y'all. Get Donald Trump off Twitter. You can find the change.org link in the video description if you're watching this on YouTube. Or you can go to change.org and look up. Get Donald Trump off Twitter. Spell how it sounds. Uh, you can put in us, you have two people abroad in danger. Um, and violating Twitter policies. This shit has to stop, y'all. Now, check this out. It's regarding the, this company cult. It's a gun manufacturing company. They have actually said that they are suspending the manufacturing of numerous um, assault rifles, including the AR-15. Now, the AR-15 is, is special. You hear, I mean, aside from it being used in rap lyrics and uh, being touted as like a good gun by like a lot of gun advocates or whatever, this has actually been used in numerous mass shootings, including the one in uh, Newtown, Connecticut, uh, Orlando, Florida, and in Parkland, Florida. Now, in this company, Colt, is actually Connecticut-based, so. You know, we'll see uh, if this suspension actually turns into something else. We didn't want to graduate. What other new world the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So, uh, Daniel McMahon is a white supremacist shithead who actually has been arrested for making racist and violent threats against John Gabbard. This is somebody in Charlottesville. All of this stuff is taking place in Charlottesville. This is somebody that was actually, who is the co-founder of Black Lives Matter in Charlottesville, Virginia, and was actually running for Charlottesville City Council. And the threats that came from Daniel McMahon actually forced him to drop out. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and now this is something that uh, Daniel McMahon actually has a history of uh, making uh, race, you know, racial and violent threats so anti-racist and anti-fascist. He even once dubbed himself the uh, Antifa hunter. You know what I'm saying? Now, this also comes as like I mean, if you think about the person that shot up the Tree of Life synagogue in Pittsburgh, uh, where they killed 11 people, he was actually was sharing social media posts from this Tree of Life So, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, he, he gets what he deserves. We ain't going to graduate. This report out of the new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFF report. So, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, and other um, advocacy groups are actually calling on the United States Senate to reject the nomination of Marshall Billingsley former Pentagon worker during the George W. Bush administration, um, they're rejecting his nomination for a top State Department position that will actually have him over the United States human rights policy. Now, uh, human rights, basically overseeing U.S. human rights policy. Now, this is troubling because while he was at, worked at the Pentagon, he openly supported torture and harsh interrogation methods. Uh, during the Bush era, and as you know, this is like when 9-11 is kicking off or whatever, and um, a lot of people being falsely accused of having something to do with 9-11, uh, because as we all know, well, yeah, just do the science itself. Please look at the fallen of the Twin Towers and put it next to the demolition of the building and tell me they don't look the same. And nevertheless, um, this is going on, and you know, we'll see if he gets the seat. It seems like they want um, hardball uh, foreign rights to call. Out here, you know, foreign, foreign policy hawk out here, you know what I mean? We're graduation. So the new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So the uh, Trump administration is actually threatening to cut federal funding to a joint Middle East studies program that runs between uh, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, University of Chapel Hill, and Duke University. Now, this is because they're worried that Basically, the program is uh, promoting the positive aspects of Islam, but not the positive aspects of Christianity or Judaism. Um, the Education Secretary, Betsy DeVoe, 
the good ball, so I don't give a fuck if name. Is it S Silent? Betty, Betsy, let, Betty, is the S Silent? Let us know. But nevertheless, um, she actually is, uh, has uh, started a probe into the study program. Um, George Holding, a Republican congressman that has actually called the program out for being, for having a, a severe anti Israel bias and anti Semitic rhetoric. But uh, we are in an age where everything is kind of like anything criticizing Israel is considered anti Semitic. So we really keep it real here. We'll find out. Of course, the uh, academic freedom advocates are like not for this. Shit. So we'll see how this stands out. Green, warm, graduate. And then we'll go to Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Five Rules report. So the United States has expelled uh, two Cuban diplomats. And actually, it's uh, uh, placed uh, severe restrictions on, the, on Cuba's United Nations mission. Now, this comes as uh, 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 the State Department actually is, has said that they made moves that uh, actually put the U.S. in you know harm's way or whatever, but they didn't provide any details. Now the um, former minister for Cuba, though Bruno Rodriguez, actually said that the move was categorically unjustified. Now keep this in mind that Cuba has actually reached a second week of major fuel shortage going on over there, and they say is a direct result of. United States sanctions against Cuba and Venezuela, so, uh, you know, tensions continue to be uh, pretty bad between the U.S. and Cuba. We war on graduation. For the other new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. Yo, sign that petition. Get Donald Trump off Twitter. Find the change all link in the Instagram bio, Grady Grant 716. Damn, they, I keep forgetting. They shut that shit down. Trying to block us uh, from exchanging truth with each other. So uh, you'll have to go to uh, check it out in the video description. If you're watching this on YouTube. Or just go to change.org and you'll see get Donald Trump off Twitter. Uh, it's, very important, it's very pertinent that we sign as he continues to put us, U.S. troops, people abroad in danger, violating Twitter policy. Like, what more can we, can we tolerate? Now, um, John uh, Aberdeen Ben Ali, the former dictator for Tunisia, uh, he actually has died at age 83. And this is somebody that actually ruled as a dictator for 23 years before being ousted from his position in 2011 by protests that actually sparked the Arab, Arab Spring, you know, the fact that, so, uh, you know, shit is real, but, I mean, he, he's gone, so, I don't know, rest in pain, rest in power, fuck it. We ain't war graduation, though. We don't fuck with this. What other new world? The Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So, the New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio has actually dropped out of the 2020 presidential race. Um, a campaign never gained seen, even though he vowed to work for middle class families and a working class family for them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, go against Donald Trump. Um, his tall ass just never really got the back end of the people. Probably a lot of that had to do with, too, New York City not really standing, like, the, you know what I mean? The, the, the working class people in New York City not really standing behind them like that. I mean, there's been too many times that he kind of showed himself as far as, you know, in going against the New York Police Department, honestly, and, you know, their extrajudicial uh, killings and harassment uh, towards uh, people of color, most, most specifically. So, you know, uh, if, you, if you can get the respect of, you know, the working class people in your own state, your own city, pardon me, you know what I'm saying? So how you going, think you going to get it from the country? So I think he has a good heart, though, you know what I mean? Definitely got a black wife and a black, black son, or black son, as he said, you know what I mean? But, you know, we're proud to him. We need to focus on that city of yours, though. Green Wall and graduate.